Yeah, America, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy Underground Rim King. Man, listen, you you already know, as usual, man, I am feeling good. I am feeling pumped up. And, bro, I want you to feel good and pumped up just the same way. You feel me? That's why I'm out here dropping this game, business game, that is. Check me out now. Okay, so listen. Every now and then, you know what I'm saying, I'm out here and, uh, you know, so I drop a little little nuggets here and there probably get a little story on top of that but today grab your pad and your pencil okay if you are a business or you are uh inspiring to start a business you need to write this down okay uh if you are not uh inspiring to uh to do a business and you are uh, a consumer cut the tape right now Change the channel, go watch somebody else, okay? Because I, 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 I'm, I'm talking about you. Not everybody, but you know who you is, okay? So check me out. Here's this. All right, most people, um, in businesses, when you, when you're doing uh, business to consumer, right? When you're doing a B two C, uh, business. Most people, when you start off in your business, okay, you know, you, you've always heard, you know, the customer is right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, you know what I'm saying? Ultimately, you are there to um, to provide a service. You are there to offer your goods, you know what I'm saying, to, um, to a consumer, right? And yeah, you know what I'm saying? To, to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you want to, you, you want to, you know, uh, offer your best customer service and so on and so on. But this is a 50-50 transaction, meaning that they're uh, supplying you with um, with the financial resource, I hope, and you're providing them with a good or service. You know what I'm saying? You got something um, they want, and in exchange, they got something that you want. Now, what, what ultimately happens when you start off is that, you know, the, the, the young entrepreneurial um, mindset believes that the value that is being brought in is more than the value that you are giving out. You know, like, you know, some people get stuck and think that, oh, because somebody's paying them that they have some sort of um, superior value. Nah, it is a 50-50 transaction. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, look, you know, you're providing something, they provided something. And, you know, again, you know, saying to reiterate, when people start off, you know, they want everybody to come in the door. You know, they, you know, they'll sacrifice whatever. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're um, I don't want to say dignity, but... They just feel that people paying them are superior. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Your good um, is just as equal value. And I'll give you an example. If somebody gives you, let's just say, uh, $100 for whatever your good is, your good is worth $100. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody pays you $100 for your service, your service was worth a hundred dollars. They didn't give you nothing more, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't get nothing less. So you ought not need to bow down and feel like just because somebody's paying you that, you know, you're 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 somewhat um less than. Right? And I I I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give you kind of like a story so it don't seem like kind of like I'm rambling, so I can kind of like nail down what I'm talking about. Okay, so so here it goes, right? Um, I had this one dude, okay, um, he, he must have bought a car from an auction, and I could tell he ain't never even, even really messed with the car, it, it, it just came straight from the auction, you know what I'm saying, and, it, and, they, and they had it shipped straight to me, because it still needed parts and pieces and stuff like that going on, right, so, but my man was like, look, man, I got these 30 tools, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm ready to ride. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you. Uh, it was like a um, like a little SUV. So I say, man, 32s on that little SUV, man. I mean, you know, I, I mean, I, I've always been kind of like um, uh, steady with work, right? So I've never been like, man, boy, I'm so bored. I don't know what I'm finna be working on today. You know what I'm saying? So I've always been kind of steady. So I told him like, look, now, you know, we got some work going on. Um, it's probably gonna take about like two weeks, you know what I'm saying, to go ahead and get that done because it's an SUV. You know, I've never seen the vehicle, but like it's an SUV, you know what I'm saying, going 32s, I mean, you know, it, it shouldn't be all that crazy. So anyways, you know, I get the car and I see the car like, bro, this car need body work, you know what I'm saying? And, and then it was an up north car. Up north cars, um, when they come down to me, I could tell it's an up north car because all the bottom of the car is rusty. You feel me? So I'm like, all right. So immediately, you know what I'm saying? I knew that, you know, uh, it was a door that had like a dent in it. He wanted the dent pulled out. So I'm like, man, that car got to go to the paint shop. I got to run it down the street. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, the paint shop took a couple of days. They brought it back. But then I'm noticing like all the, all the, um, the, the frame bolts underneath are rusty, this, that, and the third. So I'm like, cuz, like, man, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's probably gonna be like another week or so, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's, it's more work, you know what I'm saying, involved with the car because that, that ain't what I seen. So, uh, my man proceeds to be like, man, I done already paid you. And I'm like, uh, yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's, it's more work than, than what it is, and, and it's, it's whatever. Now, uh, uh, and then I done already told him, man, it's gonna probably be like two weeks, right? So here, here's this, and I, I don't want to get this uh, misconstrued. If, if, you, if you give somebody a time, you know what I'm saying? Try, try to be, you know, as honorable with the time uh, that is given. And and listen, um, when you uh, do automotive and you have like high volume customers and so on like that. Um, I mean, you'll see this a lot with paint shops. You'll see this a lot um, with custom interior shops and so on like that. Like, I mean, stuff happens and you do get busy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's no excuse, but it's like every car, again, just in the case of this example, the guy sent me the car and it needed way, way, way more work than anticipated. So the time that was budgeted, you know what I'm saying, went a little over, you feel me? But anyways, you know what I'm saying? So now, you know, uh, the main topic that I was that I was that I was that I'm that I'm on is, you know, this is an even transaction. You feel me? You know, if you're paying for a service, you're getting that value of service. There's no more. There's no less. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the amount of money that you pay me is not superior to the service that I'm I'm about to provide or render. All right. So now, um, you know, my man was like, look, man. I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to go ahead and, and stunt. I need this car done. You know what I'm saying? I don't already paid you. You know, you told me it was this time. And you know what? If, if it ain't ready by by this date, you know, uh, for example, it could have been, we could have been talking Monday. If this ain't ready, you know, by Saturday, me and my homeboys, we, we, we gonna come to your shop and we gonna sit down and watch you work on my car. Y'all finna come and sit down and watch me work on it? Bruh. My daddy can't pull up on me like that and pull up and just watch me work. <laughs> you feel me? So, so, so I told my man, you know what? You you say bye by Saturday, huh? I, I tell you what, big homie. I tell you what, big homie. I got you. Matter of fact, what today is Monday? Cuz. I'm going to have that car in front of your house on Wednesday. Guaranteed. I got you, big homie. So, what I did was I loaded up his wheels in his car, put his money in his glove compartment, called the transport company, and had it shipped to his house immediately. By Wednesday. All right. So to end that off, okay. Well, actually, it didn't end there. It didn't end there. All right. What I started off to tell y'all is like, look, man, this is a 50-50 transaction. It's it's nothing uh 
It's nothing personal. It's just business. You feel me? Your money that you're paying me is not superior to the service that I'm providing. You feel me? It's even. And if we can't work out to no agreement or you can't respect me, you know what I'm saying, and feel that I need to bow down to your uh, your resources, it ain't gonna happen. Now, the reason why I tell you guys this for those who are trying to start off your business is because you're gonna get some people that wanna try you like that. There's gonna be some people that's not going to respect you as a business. They're going to think that, look, I'm paying you, I run the show. You feel me? Now, obviously, you know what I'm saying, I've been in the game for a little while, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know, once you have like years and years and years of experience, you know what I'm saying, and and confidence in yourself, you know what I'm saying, you 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 could talk and carry yourself a, a little differently. You feel me? But I, I say that, you know what I'm saying, because I was like, you know, all you know, a little further further along, you know what I'm saying, on my business journey than most of these people are that are starting off. You know what I'm saying? You might get intimidated, you know what I'm saying, or might allow, you know, say somebody to intimidate you in that manner. Okay. And I'm here to let you know, like, hell nah. You know what I'm saying? Get back. You know what I'm saying? If somebody can't respect you, it's not a personal thing. It is a business. And they need to respect you as a business. And you need to respect yourself as a business. It's like, bro, you run the show. You feel me? Now, to go ahead and fast forward and let you know how it all ended out. You feel me? You know... My man was like, damn, when he got the car back, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, the man really just sent my car back. Like, he wasn't on no bullshit. <laughs> you feel me? But anyway, uh, long story short, the car wa wasn't all that. He knew the car wasn't all that. Bought another car, came down, and I ain't finna put him out there, because I don't think it's a put out there type of thing. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Um... Uh, let you know we, we came back Did another car And smashed And dropped a banger You feel me But uh, At the end of the day He respected the grind And he respected my, 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 my decision making You know what I'm saying And respected me enough To be like Damn He realized like You know what I'm saying He couldn't boss up On a situation like that You know what I'm saying And, he, and we came together as men We chopped it up Dropped the banger And we were still out there You feel me Still respect you know what I'm saying? But it starts off by respecting yourself as a business. You understand? Don't let nobody feel like they're superior just because they got a couple dollars on you. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I know at the beginning of your journey, you want every dollar. You need every dollar. You feel me? Get every dollar. You know what I'm saying? But don't compromise your your, your respect and your dignity and feel like, you know what I'm saying, like somebody's um, uh, resources, you know what I'm saying, trumps, you know what I'm saying, your services. You feel me? So if you out here, you know what I'm saying, know who you are. You know what I'm saying? You the boss. You know what I'm saying? You the one that took that step and you the one that's on that entrepreneurial journey. You feel me? I hope. I hope at the beginning, I told y'all to go ahead and get y'all pad and y'all pencil. Y'all wrote all this down because I guarantee you the minute, the minute, if you don't have that confidence, the minute that you don't know to respect yourself, somebody go try to boss up on you because they done paid you, you going to fold. Keep that notebook handy. It's your boy on the ground, Rim King, dropping that business game. You know this. <laughs> you already know. <laughs>